before we uh before we get started with the with the show i uh, just want to say something to uh to everyone out there i have three three simple words for everyone oh hell yeah Call it a comeback. Back, back. Back. What's going on, Star Wars fam? I'm your bro host, Daniel Miller, along with all of my other lovely bro hosts today. And welcome back to Shooting the Poodoo. That's right, we weren't going anywhere. Just taking a well-deserved two-week break. <laughs> and... We also have our special guest, Lauren, from the Galactic Podcast, everybody. Welcome, Lauren. Hello. Hey, hey, what's going on? I'm so glad to be, happy to be here, excited to talk some stuff with you guys, ready to geek out. That's Let's right. Do Let's do it. Let's do so, this. Let's just keep it moving. Yeah. That's right. Forward. Moving forward, forward is how this is going to go. And... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so we're you know first we're gonna pour ourselves a little drink. What's everybody drinking tonight? Ooh. I'm lame. I'm peach water, brandy. I'm peach brandy because know, I'm water. just that kind of girl. Just flavored. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, me and Chris, water. He's flavored, but I'm. I'm Actually, I got a, also I got a little aha uh -huh seltzer here. Mm -hmm. just to, mm, nice. just some... Is it is it gonna take you on? <laughs> What's that? Oh, oh sorry, it's an old people joke. As a, uh, I, got, I got that reference. I am old enough to understand that reference. <laughs> that was, was a good bring, sketch. I had some Tate, Tate cookies to bring. No, in. no, no, oh, no. 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 Yeah. I held it back. I held it back. Woo! Oh, no. No. Oh, oh, that's, that's, that's it. Yeah. Bring her back. Like bring that. her back. <laughs> it's no, pepper too Tate. You, you should have known, Lauren, that, that that is an immediate boot the second you bring up the old cookies. It was worth the risk. It was, it was worth always it. worth the risk. Just because. And he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. No. Uh, the poor guy. He's the one. Yeah, no more of that garbage. Yeah. Well, that malarkey. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so today, That's how it goes. Today will be hi everybody uh, in the chat. Hi everybody. Hey. Hi. 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 Welcome you. back. Oh, look, Ben is here. Ben is here. Oh, my goodness. Woo! <laughs> I see oh, you. I see you. Ben, ben, is, here. ben is, here. is my least favorite of the Blaise Star Cat. Brothers. He knows that. Yeah. It's all about Jan. <laughs> Jan is the greatest. Ben. It's, be it's because he talks about hockey, and ben, you have you're no awesome. idea what it is. It's my <laughs> favorite. Is uh, awesome. What the hell is hockey? I knew my, it. My favorite aspirin. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Representative from the state of hockey here. So yeah, that's right. <laughs> Minnesota. <laughs> Michigan, me, too. We're hockey. I, 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 that's yeah. right. Yes. Yes. I actually, Raven, fun fact, the Minnesota Wild whooped the Chicago Blackhawks this year at my first ever in-person Chicago Blackhawks game. Wow. Wow. I had the pleasure. What are they? Ow, the what's that? Okay. <laughs> the, the, who, the Minnesota what now? But a yeah, uh, wild, a wild, wild, wild baby. Baby. yeah. A lovely a shout Red out, Wings fan. I appreciate that. That the yes, why yes. beat the Blackhawks? Sorry, Claire. Yeah. Flyers, cool. Flyers, we Flyers. We love you, Matt awful. Dumba. We love you, Matt Dumba. You're the Chris, best. What's ever. hockey? We love you, Matt. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was like a thing, like you know, you could, like, like a, <laughs> I'm thinking Wa Mickey. That's it's Wa Key. Yeah. So Wa it's like oh. you live in the frozen oh. north. It's like when you've okay. lost your keys and then you finally locate them, you go, ha, key. There you, there go. you go. Well done. There you well go. Done. Don't come on, man. Don't oh, 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 come, on. Oh, come on. Come on. And we're back, everybody. And we're back, everybody. That's right. Let's Damn go, it, baby. Damn it, Claire. We've, we've got all the usual suspects. Uh Blue Bantha. Uh, we've got Jerry. I mean, Gary. I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, we've got hey, Rez. Boo. We've got Blaze Cap. We've got, got Half Cap. Moth. We've got Father and Son Podcast in there. Oh, with Alex, Alex, Corey. Hello. Everybody. Boop Sweet is boop. in there. Boop. boop. Oh, no. Oh, I can't even hey. 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 We got Lou. Lou. Blaze Cap is. Did, wait, did, you, did, you say, did you say Charles Soul already? I did. He's oh, in the, that's he's right. In the building. That's right. Charles, Charles is here. Charles is in the building, baby. Yes. Yes, he's here. <laughs> so, awesome. We love buildings. 
And uh, <laughs> I just want to say one thing to all of all of the people over there. Whoa, whoa, thank whoa, whoa, you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, well, Thank you so oh, oh, oh. much. Okay, okay, okay. For Thank all you. of your amazing support. And that's that. We're going to be talking. Oh, Michael's here. Yes, Michael. I am. Hey. Oh, no, 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 no. All remaining systems, Michael. Hello. Yeah. All remaining systems. <laughs> Modelo, Michael. Oh, Modelo. Um, oh, okay. Just say that. Oh, 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 Modelo, Mike. That's his real name. Who's the yeah. right Modelo name? Mike, man. Modelo, Mike. And you know, since we didn't get to talk about it uh, from our little our little two week break, uh, I really want to talk about the goddamn Boba Fett finale, an hour long of freaking King Kong shit. It was awesome. Well, you um, know what, Dan? Dan, hold on, hold on. We didn't talk about episode six, much less episode seven. We didn't get a chance to. Yeah, Chris, I know, but you know what? We're moving. Forward. I was really looking forward. To talking about those two episodes. I know. Let's talk about them then, Chris. We can talk about talk them. Talk them up right now. Dude. Yeah. Because That's you know what, what we're here for. We're your friends, and this is what we do. We support each other okay. in times of needing to talk about two episodes at once. Yeah. And also the season finale of Peacemaker. Holy shit. The cow. Whoa. Oh. So good. So good. Um, boy, I, uh, I, I, I think we should start with Peacemaker and end with our Boba Fett chat. Uh, like if it. anybody hasn't been list, hasn't been watching Peacemaker, wants to watch it, doesn't want to be spoiled, uh, that's where we're going. I can't turn this hat backwards because it's just one way. Um, but <laughs> it is time for some Peacemaker spoils. Oh, we're doing Peacemaker? Okay. We're not oh. doing Boba? We're doing Peacemaker. We're, we're going to do Peacemaker doing? first, I think. Oh, and okay. then we'll end it with some Boba well, stuff. Well, I'm just saying real quick because Hustle Man DeLorean... Um, <laughs> uh, you know, he, he's he's wanting to check in on me because I, I listen. I um, I wasn't okay. Yeah, we're gonna actually so let's let's start with Boba Fett. And we'll end with peace. Yeah. Because... <laughs> I think Chris really needs to talk. Yeah, Chris I think talk about this. Yeah. I've been let's holding in. I've all. been holding in a lot of heartache and uh, and sadness. Okay, I'm just gonna take my hat uh, off for this. One. I'm sorry. A couple weeks I because. Uh, <sighs> It's okay, Chris. It's okay. Let him go. I know. Let it out. I know. Out. You know, it's funny. The funny thing is, not it's not funny actually, but the second <laughs> you got a in the sky. The, the second that happened, I was like, oh no, I gotta call Chris and see if he's okay. Uh, <laughs> Maybe she got out. You never know. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I didn't see enough evidence to be I'm absolutely. Just, you, you mean the whole room being destroyed and full of blackness from Dude, a bomb going off? Girls wasn't... can do anything left unattended. That's Nobody. I, hey, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna deny that. Yeah, Dude, I'm pretty sure not... there's no body left because everything. <laughs> <Yeah. was laughs> I mean, all what I saw, all I can say is, <laughs> what a feeling. Uh, <sighs> feelings, believe in rogue. <laughs> I got yeah. you. Man. I, I mean, a couple of maniacs you, but did I just that. can't even do it. A couple of maniacs did that one. <laughs> and ben, now they're... Ben, shut oh, up. The they're dancing all over the floor. The oh, the she couldn't, she could, yes, are we? She are couldn't we break dance the way out of that one. Are we shipping flash Polly dance? You fool, with... flash dance. What she did, was break dance, then flash dance. She was. It happened. Major Domo. Yeah, what did she call him though? She called him like fancy tails or some silly oh, thing. Head, head, like, some... head tails? Yeah, she said, Oh, nice That's head racist. tails, but then yeah. she said, Get behind me like fancy tails fancy or some something. silly yeah. darn thing. And it Duck was tails. so yeah. funny. And I'm like, Okay, that's it. We're shipping it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah. It's like he's an elite like it is the perfect setup to like a Disney story. Like she's the riffraff street rat, and he's the Coruscant educated politician man of of whatever, of not really prestige because he mostly just got his shit kicked around the entire season. But, Claire, but he he went to he went to Coruscant though, which doesn't make him better than anybody else. Doesn't which doesn't make him any better. Than me. Not in his eyes, apparently. So no, do we still? Know. It's the lady and the tramp, but just switch it. I love it. I love I, it. I, I, I love want it. them to get it on and and and. <laughs> Make weird. I do. Little, I was. I was thinking that too. Pink I, babies. I love Pelly. Yeah. I love Pelly. Was like, there's no time for that. Like, what actually? Right. Like, Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. She's yeah. Like, you know right. I mean? She's like, come get back here, little my handsome yeah. pants. There's no time we, for that. So, so <laughs> after all of this, do we believe that the Pikes are the major like uh, 
antagonist in this whole thing? Like there is you know, like like do you think Crimson Dawn can still be behind doing the old I can't answer that well, until I mean, this when trilogy's you're talking, done. I, yeah, I can't when you're the talking fragile about alliance is it still intact? Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. Okay. Don't I know. mean, we are all okay. working for Kaiser Sose and just don't know it. I knew you know? it. <laughs> <So>. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm Kaiser Sose. Yeah, and Redfoot. Oh, um, it's early, dude. Like, <laughs> so, so the best thing about the the episode, the penultimate episode, we got our man back. Um, yeah, yeah, it was really good to see Timothy. Um, it, was it Oliphant? Oliphant. Mm -hmm. It was good to Timmy see o. him back. You're um, me, dude. I loved it. Sorry, I, I'm just not good at names. You all know that. But it was oh, good I'm to see Timothy I'm back. Too, Dan. I got you. I got you, pal. Mm. I'm terrible and names. I love that he's still just you know the red shirt, the sash, just missing the armor. Um, but this was when we got Cad freaking Bane. <clears throat> Holy shit! I did Caprio mm. pointed. I was like, and uh, <laughs> I know. All I could think was all I could think was, oh my god, Rick is melting into a puddle somewhere right now yes <laughs> rick the, is a puddle on the floor somewhere yeah, yeah. right now and that's yeah. all i could think was how happy he <laughs> had to be at that the, the man with no tweet. name feels oh sorry I'm gonna hit no, no, no i was gonna say i was waiting for his tweet ricks and then when i saw right. him tweet it i immediately like messaged him i'm like how are you holding up are you okay are you <laughs> Look breathing it. are you breathing right are here okay <laughs> Right yeah. here, I've got into my... the nose, out the mouth, Rick. Right, right. <laughs> Cad Bane, my Cad Bane, right up here. Two, my <laughs> Black Series six inch and my Cad pop Bane. figure had to be unboxed. Had to unbox my pop mm -hmm. figure uh, after his after his his debut. And and uh, I, I know we're kind of jumping around here when I say this, but I mean, do we think he's dead? I mean, that no. was his heart, man. That was in the chest area. But like is that where his species' his heart is located? Oh, my God. I'm about to leave the planet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just leave adding, the I mean, hey, man, I'm things, just adding discussion here. I don't know. Things that make it's you possible. Go, hmm. There was I, a I, beeping I, noise that people were talking about, and I was yep. like, yeah, I guess so, I mean, This is know. like people defending when the Joker fell off the building in Batman 89. Like, he was laughing. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> He's not fine. He's I not do, Look at him. Look how stoked he I is. He fell. <laughs> I do uh, think that Cobb Vanth is, is dead, unfortunately. No, no, he's um, not. No, he's in the healing tank. Yeah. Uh, but, but I, well, be, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's all about whether or not they actually say anything and they don't say anything that's actually definitive. Shot him down in cold blood doesn't necessarily mean he's dead, just means you shot him down in cold mm -hmm. blood. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, just totally because totally someone amazing. was in the room three seconds before the room, you know, exploded doesn't mean that that person wasn't gone when there was only one second left. So, yeah. you know, I think that we should hope for better. Think, Chris, it's going to be okay. What Do you if there need was to a, borrow was... my hanky? Are you going to be okay? No. <laughs> what if it was a little M they bison have action? Water in the sky. And there was a system in him that brought him that, that brought him back to life. You know, in Street Fighter, the greatest Street Fighter movie ever, where M Bison died. <laughs> From electric shock, and then ah. nope. <laughs> we're not going to talk about that movie either. <laughs> oh my gosh! I mean, who was, Ch who was Chun Li? Who was Chun Li? <laughs> Chun Li was was You're was Ming Na, and Ming Na it's was in it's this, it's so they could have been like, "Yo, let's use that." Ming Na was probably like, "He's not dead. Let's do the M Bison move." Where <laughs> literally the beeping <laughs> was him being brought back to life. There's a connection here, people. There's a Dan's going full. Dan's chain smoking the corner like, "Oh, let me tell you, let me tell you, 1962. What is that? Is that a is that a black tinfoil hat? Like, what do you mean? Yeah, I love you in signs. Ancient May, and then yes, his giant, his giant hands are lying to him. Clear <laughs> with the fat tire. I think the, New Dan, Dan and I did a, a reaction yeah. video for uh, for for the finale, and um, yes, I don't remember if I said it. In, I was it was really uh, I was really tired when I was watching it, and uh, um, so I, I, can't, I can't remember if I said this or not, but. I think I was like when when Cad got uh, stabbed, I was like, "He's not dead." 
don't think he is either. No. I don't think he is. Filoni yeah. loves it. That's the like last, one of Filoni's babies. Yeah. That's one of his, but that's his the last, characters. The last shot of him as the camera's going over, you know, he's still beeping. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. And still blinking. My dad. So, my dad is, you know, uh, and I'm not I, a Cad Bane aficionado, but usually, you know. I am. I am. That's. Mm-hmm. I think that was like Cat Bane is old. Claire, take it, take it, Claire. If there's beeps, there's a pulse. He's fine. <laughs> Cat Bane is old. This is what he I should have been out the game years He's 70. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I will say as well, my dad is the most ultra casual Star Wars fan on the planet. He mo- he's like one of those people that complains about bombs dropping down in space, but he still like likes all the movies to an extent. But he's really liked Book of Boba Fett because he literally watches reruns of like. Gunsmoke and nice. and Bonanza and John Wayne yeah. and any Eastwood Listen. spaghetti western and so literally he's just sitting there he's like when's the blue Lee Van Cleef gonna come back <laughs> like yeah, when's, when's, when's <laughs> Angel Eyes coming big man with their like, deals and got it right away yep. Listen Ken listen <laughs> you tell your dad about those bombs okay there was gravity <laughs> in that <laughs> ship. Okay, and once something is in motion, even outside of gravity, they stay in motion. I need Dan to explain everything in that tone from it. now I'm on. I would no, love I, to see the look on my dad's face if you tried to explain that to him. Yeah. I just would want to. I'd want to be a fly on a wall. It Your dad's like, I'm a physicist. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, yeah, Lauren. I, I don't. I don't yeah, either. I don't. I don't know Kat's, what he does. But. I don't think Cad's dead either. I honestly think that beeping was definitely notifying, like Claire was saying, that he's alive. But I think that was notifying his Toto. companion, Toto, to be like, come get me, bro. I need I to I need help. to be revived. Yeah, yeah. you need to go. Toto, to hey, this is Star uh, Wars, y'all. Lauren. <clears throat> yeah. I, you can't. Claire, I got, got you. Toto back. Like, so Live there action. was a reaction video of me in the middle of the night watching the episode of Bad Batch where he came back and Toto was in it, which is no longer on the internet for reasons. Um, But... In that video, I am like full on sobbing that he's back and that Toto's back. Like I was sitting there for the past two episodes, just going, Toto, 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 Toto. Toto. This is me. Get Toto. Where's Toto? Where's Toto? I need Toto. I love. Um. So yeah, I miss him. I need him. It'd be so cool. Bad. I mean, he he definitely could be in live action. The only thing I wish, and this is a really dumb wish, but I wish we would have saw Cad flying around on his like. I wanted boot, to see man. Rocket Boot action just a little as well. bit, just one time, just yeah. one time. Oh, maybe no, maybe in his it. in his old age, he'd be like, "Ah, oh, my back, I can't." Yeah, his anymore. ankles, yeah. something like that. You know, yeah. 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 I love when he said something about sticking his nose. You know, I wouldn't stick my nose in other people's business if I were you. And I was like, "You ain't got no nose, Cad Bane." <laughs> <laughs> You ain't got no land to the dad. Yeah. <laughs> to the dad. Magic space legs. That's right. He's got magic space legs. He's nose. got magic nose. <laughs> <laughs> to the dad, Cad Bane tastes like cigarettes. <laughs> he tasted like cigarettes. It's the best lot of that guy. Out of hand. <laughs> Completely but out of hand. You don't call him stupid. <laughs> Look, the one thing that he hasn't lost is a step in his shot. Uh, that dude is still the fastest gun in the galaxy, and I loved it. That's how I knew Boba wasn't going to get the jump on him. And I was expecting, mm-hmm. like, my thing the whole time in the reaction video. I'm like, I was, I was like, I was like, uh, Marshall Vanth, Marshall Vanth, Cobb Vanth is going to come out of nowhere and shoot him before, like, he even realizes it. I thought that would have been Cobb Vanth's like return was to like take out Cad Bane before he mm-hmm. takes out Boba. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't want to. To like ruin Boba's moment, but I was just like, I don't think Boba's fast enough. He's 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 mm-hmm. older now. Uh, he, Cad has shown that he literally hasn't lost a step in his shot, and I was like, he's gonna get him. He's gonna get I him. I was so annoyed by that because I'm sitting here going, "Do not fight him on his own game. Yeah, we'll play him <laughs> right, in his Claire. own game. Yeah. Yep. What are you doing? You've yep. known this man uh, this, for this like dude, thirty years, thirty four yeah. years. This dude is really going up quickly, toe with, okay. Really quickly, I'm sorry, Dan. Your background is distracting me. <laughs> <laughs> he's so good. Oh, look, he's handsome. I look. I, let's just. Well, I know we're jumping around, but let's speak to this are, moment are in you the penultimate. Because I don't hear a word. <laughs> this is my favorite Luke too. My favorite Luke Amazing. is this Luke. I've they told do. Chris yeah. a thousand yeah. times. No, it's like, mine too, dude. Jedi confident Luke, like you know, when he's finally he's like accepted his role and like and really is is feeling the force. Like this is my Luke, man, and. Here's- Go ahead. Jump in. Here's the thing, though. 
I I like this Luke a lot. I like him better in Return of the Jedi, but the this Luke is so so dumb. That's it. That's one hundred percent it. He's feeling the hubris that he's gonna like shit on in the last yeah. Jedi right now. Yep. Yeah. He's so he thinks he knows what's doing what he's what he's doing right now. He thinks he's, he's super he's, confident. Yeah. He's like, I'm right. I'm right. I'm yeah. gonna do this. I'm gonna be the dude who trains all the new Jedi. And you're like, no, 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 no. Yeah, and how quickly, how quickly do you forget Luke? Ahsoka's confidence. Oh, you got to run off and go help your friends, but Grogu, you have to give him some sort of ultimatum, bro. What in the hell, dude? Put those hands away. No, 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 Rage, Luke. Luke. We've been off for two weeks, okay? Luke, I love you. You're right. I love you, Luke. I love you. Man, I, like I love all facets you. of you, Luke. I love your hubris. <laughs> I love this I love moment, your though. Now he's like, hey, I love all of it because little, that's what makes floating. you. Yeah, when he picks him up. Oh god. Look, Raven, he's we scared. all love Luke. I love Luke too, but I was really mm-hmm. upset that he gave him that ultimatum. Like, you can either have the lightsaber that belonged to Master Yoda, the greatest Jedi Master who has almost ever lived, or you can take your chain mail, which we all called it. Raven, you called it. We all she, was thinking it was chain it. mail. Um, and, you know, your Frodo armor. Uh, or, or Frodo you know, armor. that's it. There's no, there's no, like, there's nothing that, that left is, for you it, here. This, this, that's that dick shit. Have, that's why I can't stand the Jedi. Sorry. But I feel like he can't stand it. It is Raven. a mistake. People make mistakes. And mm-hmm. that's part of every person's story. I know true. I have, I myself have, have given a few ridiculous ultimatums in my day. Um, not going to go over them, but certainly have done it. So, you know, yes, I think it's hard to see him do these things, these things that we know are missteps. Um, but that's part of his character. And, you know, I would I would say that a lot of us, particularly those of us who have a great deal of affection for Anakin Skywalker or for, you know, Ben Solo have accepted far greater faults in our, mm-hmm. our loves than, than, you know, hubris and buying the bullshit that someone oh, yeah. is selling you. Yeah. Um, so yes, I agree with, with a lot of the stances that have been taken and a lot of comments even that are made about Luke and different, you know, iterations. I can, I can get behind that, but the, in the, at the end, Luke for me is always going to be what he was that naive kid who believed in good versus evil and good will always triumph. And, you know, all of that doesn't make any less valuable the things that he learned later and stood for later. But the reason I loved him was because of that young man back then and all he grew into. There is nothing Mm -hmm. in Return of the Jedi for me other than just ridiculous freaking pride. I feel like he's my Padawan. I'm so proud of him in that mm-hmm. moment. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, he, yeah. and, and there are so many moments going forward where I'm like, oh, babe, no. <laughs> and other times where once again, I am proud of him because I know that he's doing some of the hardest things to do, to say I was wrong, to say I screwed up, to say I, I messed up. I mean, it's something all of us have trouble with. Nobody wants to run into the room and be like, listen, I screwed up, okay? You know, nobody <laughs> wants to do that, but it's yeah. it's all yeah. part of his character. He isn't perfect. He will never be perfect. That isn't what well, makes we, Luke Well, we know Luke. that for sure. We, yeah, we it's, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's I definitely love, tough for some right? people to say. It's definitely tough for Kylo some people to say, right. I'm sorry. You know, it's yeah. it's tough. I, I love it because in Last Jedi, you know, Yoda says, you always looked at the horizon, never here, never what's in front of you. And that is Luke's character to a T. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And absolutely. The, the, and when you choices, stop learning, yeah, you the, stop growing, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the choices, and I know that's a big thing because, you know, him giving Grogu the choice and everything. And obviously you can link it back to Empire Strikes Back and Yoda kind of doing the same thing. Like you can stay here or you can go with your friends and, you know, face the consequences. And, you know, very similar to in Rebels too. Kanan, when he meets Ezra, he says, you can keep that lightsaber and it's going to collect dust or you can follow me and I can show you what it means to be a Jedi and what it means to, you know, be one with the Force and do good things that we're doing. So... It's very Jedi, but it's very, again, that's why the Jedi failed, right? I mean, mm-hmm. ultimately, yep. because they yep. never learned. I mean, it's like, but do you, you think, like, if Grogu came back, Luke would take him back in, right? Like, oh, I mean, 100% he will, right? Like, yeah. I, I, I have to believe that. Like, I have to believe Luke isn't just like, nope, 
no, you chose the armor. Can't have it. Can't have it. Both right. Ways, you know buddy. Yeah. Uh, uh, listen, I don't know. I don't know about anyone else as far as it's concerned, but uh, like listen, that that reaction video that Dan and I did, if you if you can see the contrast between Dan's reaction to this and mine when Grogu popped up, and I was like, I talked a lot. You were like, no, 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 no. You you spoke for both of us, which is fine because I don't do I don't blah, 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 I don't go all crazy and shit on reaction videos and shit. I don't oh, I do. I'm I just, I just it. Watch, I react. No, I don't. Know, I, mean, it, it, I, love I just I just don't. I just don't. I just that's just me. But um. <laughs> But when Grogu popped up, and I'm like, oh, they're just going to have him go back with Mando. And I'm like, then, then what is that whole finale from uh, season two? What, like, what does that mean? Yeah, I like, like, why even yeah. do that and then go back to square one? Like, you know, immediately. Yeah. Like, like I'm hoping, like, I'm not getting pissed off. I just hope that they, I hope that there is, you know, there's some kind of a plan in place where I hope maybe Luke Wise is up. You know, we know he's not. But uh, we know Luke Wise is up. And maybe he goes back with him because, mm -hmm. you know, Din learns about, um <clears throat> Tar Vizsla. I'm like, no, he was a Mandalorian and a Jedi. Why can't why can't Grogu be? Yeah. Right. You know? I, well, I, I right. think though that when we're talking about this and when we're thinking about this, we have to remember that every single year, a lot of really, really talented, skilled individuals ring that fucking bell in SEAL school. Mm -hmm. Lots of people go hard, go fast, go further, and quit to start over at square one. Mm -hmm. Lots of people do for all sorts of different reasons. So there is that to think about as well. Like in, a, in addition to what you're saying, you know, you're putting this ultimatum out there, which just seems antithetical to everything that you're supposed to be teaching. Right. But at the same time, it's part of the process. It's part of what makes us who we are. Those those trials and tribulations, those bad things and the good things and 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 looking at our decisions and maybe later on going, <clears throat> maybe not the best decision. I might have to make some extra sacrifices, but maybe I can do that thing again or try that thing again that I didn't want to do before. New Year's resolutions and gym memberships will tell you all about it. <laughs> you know, and it also will, it's, it scares me. To, oh, sorry, go ahead, Mike. So I will say this. The reason why he went back also is because they have toys to sell. And they have to sell them. Like, I'm serious. You think I'm joking? There he goes. You think, you think why I'm you gotta bring truth no into it? Yeah, yeah. They, they yeah. gotta sell that Naboo Starfighter with that little boy. You know what well, scares I'm me? Though? Oh, it's gonna be a Lego oh, set. It's gonna be all that. I, 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 I can't I bear the thought <laughs> of knowing that that Grogu goes back to the school and then Ben kills yeah. him. See, that's the thing is, that's why uh, I was, I forgave him. Dan, no, on. he doesn't go back. Dan, I don't think he goes back. I don't think he goes back. I, I really yeah. Yeah. Nah, I don't think he goes back. I think, Dan, so. Dan, I think that there were a lot of people as well being no. like, oh my God, Luke taking him means he's going to be sliced and diced by the Ben Solo. No, he's not. No, he's but back. no, I don't think right. he's going back. He's gone right. now. You, I don't think you he's going can't, back to listen to Listen, you can't kill Grogu the Destroyer, okay? No. <laughs> he's, not, he's not dying. I'm telling you right now. Listen, listen. if I was writing his blaze cap, you know, back me up on this one if you can. Listen, if, if we're going to do a post-Tross uh, uh, villains, I've said this before, I want, a, I, I want the uh, reemergence of the Nihil. Oh, I think that would be good. dope. And as the eye... Grogu? Grogu the Destroyer. We also know that it wasn't Ben that actually <laughs> killed the people and burnt the school down. It was it right. was it was Palpatine. Um, because he was in the in the comic book, um, it, it, the was it the Rise of Kylo Ren comic book? Yeah, we yeah. saw that it was just a like Ben was outside, like a, a, he was surprised like, as the everything. perimeter. Yeah, and the freaking yeah. lightning hit it and everything. And uh, yeah, so I mean, but still, I just think about that. And like, Hashtag oh, no. Kylo was right. <laughs> I, I mean, want to pick up, like, Chris, I, I actually agree with the fact that I honestly didn't, I wanted Mando to be totally on his own in season three. Yeah. Like, I really wanted that story of self-discovery and, like, figuring out who he was as a Mandalorian now, going mm. to um, Mandalore, finding those waters under the caves or whatnot. I wanted that story, but now that I see, like, the, the, the connection, obviously, we, of him and Grogu is so strong. Like, I'm like, okay, I'm okay with it. But I, I was with you, though, where I wanted that, like, chapter to be closed. Yes. And, like, mm -hmm. to kind of move on from it. But, again, 
Mike's right. It, it's toys. People also people connected the two together in that right. show. So like you can't separate. Absolutely. Yeah. Also, yeah. Low Wolf and Cub be, works. Yeah. Right. What's that? Yeah. Little Wolf and Cub works. And it oh yeah. Little Wolf and Cub. Yeah. So. Right, right, right. Yeah. And I mean, like, it, I'm it's, just saying, look out for the Black Sun. Who noticed that <laughs> hey. in the? Who noticed in the finale really that that Dark Saber was getting a little lighter? It seemed to be yeah. to me. It did Dan. seem to be. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it wasn't totally it to be fluid, yeah. but it was definitely seemed like he was uh, handling a little bit better no more, than no he more was. Shoulder we are you know becoming yeah. worthy. Yeah. Yeah. Come yeah. I, my hope is that, like, you know, uh, they're in that ship flying back to, I forgot the name of the planet. But uh, he's like, yeah, you're going back. You're going back for some more training. Like, that's where I'm hoping that he's taking him back. Um, and then maybe, maybe, maybe Din learns maybe. a little more about that saber and like how to, how to maybe. use it and whatnot. Um, the way that Kanan taught, um, Sabine. So, so can I, can uh, I actually, uh, so with them doing what they did with Luke, um, uh, the voice modulation, the way better, uh, CGI, uh, I mean, he looked amazing and he sounded oh, yeah. really good to me. I know there are some people out there, you know, like they always do. Um, but. Uh, I love the actor too. The whole yeah, and the whole time I'm like watching this, and me and Julie were watching it, and I was like, I was like, isn't this great? I was like, yeah, he looks great. He looks amazing, and he sounds pretty good. Like, and like Mm -hmm. everyone was saying, it sounded very monotone. But I was like, but if you think about it, this is him all confident, being very just emotionless. Return of the Jedi, emotionless, and yeah, go ahead. I've said this a number of times, and it's something that especially us old folks old trilogy mofos who've been watching these movies for 40 years Hello. you're used to luke skywalker only saying these specific things anytime yeah. he mm-hmm. says something that's not one of those specific it's not star things, wars it sounds really <laughs> off to your ears you know what i'm saying yeah we're yeah. so used to the people that we know in our lives we hear them say all sorts of different things people you know and have known for decades will say something to you they've never said to you before and you don't look at them like what's your deal dude it's because you don't have an incredibly limited vocabulary audio recorded in your brain of what this person says and i mean that goes for any movie any you know any grouping like that when you when a character becomes so iconic and they only have this particular set of scripted lines you've heard them say anything else they say is weird weird and it's going to sound not my star Right. They, not my thank you, Blaze Cap. Not they really did a smart thing when they did it because obviously the mouth is probably the hardest thing to, to CGI and mm. everything. I, I noticed a like, little bit of that. I noticed yeah. it wasn't exactly lining up or whatever, but I was like, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. But you got to take was, yourself out of that. Good it was to me. smart that a lot of stuff was like you would you would hear him talking, but it was like behind. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yep. Seen him yeah. talk. So like they used it really I right think, smart in like. Just so it wasn't in our our collective minds of seeing his like mouth move all the time, so it was really smart on how they did that. But yeah. can we so, talk about Luke and Ahsoka? Because well, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. What I wanted to finish when I was saying that was, um, yeah, do you yeah. think that this opens up a door to see um, uh, Leia? Please. <laughs> and can she please, 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 please be <laughs> Billy Lord? Playing her mother. I'm just like, little, little also, can we get girl. some more Padme? This, this uh, cult mentions? is a jerk. <laughs> it's a Padme erasure. Hold on there, Lauren. <laughs> I'm just saying. Claire's like, ready. The Padme That's my erasure. <laughs> this is a t-shirt I ordered weeks ago and forgot about that came in the mail today. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. Love it. But nice. come Beautiful. on. Thank you. Yes, it is. Thank you. And yes, like Lauren was saying, <laughs> this moment right here, um, I, oh my big, God. big feels, big feels, um, because <sighs> you know I feel like her, and like as just the character, um, Ahsoka here, um, right. she knows the old man, and <laughs> has had huge connections with him, almost like a daughter to him, um, and now <laughs> seeing his son. You know, um, do you think she was the one who pushed that whole attachments thing on Luke? Do you think she's the reason why Luke is so, so strict about having an attachment because of how Anakin turned out? Do you think that's it's why possible. he is the way he is? Like the why possible. he's. I think it's very possible. I mean, we don't know exactly how much interaction they're having here. I mean, obviously they're having a conversation, but right. You know, I mean, she is sporting the scars of 
Anakin's, yeah. you know, Tra- yeah. trauma. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so she, you know, having that knowledge, and then of course him having the knowledge that he now has about his father, which he's gained over his, you know, lifetime. You know, between the two of them, I can imagine there would be a great deal of paranoia there about attachment mm-hmm. and about all of those things that, you know, in the end were Anakin's downfall. Although, right. again, I would state that <clears throat> that's just another case where we're only looking at it from one side of the coin because, yeah, while attachment was certainly Anakin's downfall, it was also his redemption his because strength. the yeah. attachment <laughs> came from his son. You know, and his son's belief in him, regardless of all of the terrible things he had done. So yeah. <clears throat> it can go both ways. But I do think that here you're dealing with two paranoid parents who are like, there are ninjas on the lawn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. And it's so interesting, too. Like, I've just been sitting here for the last couple of weeks and just been like thinking about Ahsoka. And like, j- I just rewatched the Clone Wars Um because Ethan had never seen it, so we watched it all, and like just thinking about, yeah, it's a good man. like the, the I like is, Ethan. He is a very good man. I top notch gentleman. I will give him ten out of ten stars on Yelp. Um, <laughs> a lot of stars, guys. A lot of stars. A lot of, a lot. Um, really good food there. <laughs> really good food. And the yes. gym's fantastic. <laughs> Have you tried the pool salad? <laughs> I'm sorry, Claire. Finish, Maybe. finish your thought. Please go on, Claire. <laughs> I, I ruined that one. I ruined uh, it. No, it's Got all everybody good. going on, Ethan. It's all good. He's allowed. He's allowed to get props. He's 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 been a good egg. Um, but Ethan, <laughs> we've been watching it, and like, obviously, she's the closest to Anakin, but she's also like through the whole Clone Wars series, she gets so close to Padme as a person. Uh, And you never directly address in the show how much she knows. They allude several times to how much Obi-Wan knows, but we don't really know that much about what Ahsoka knows. Mm -hmm. And what up, Kyle? And and so so of course she's battling with the information she gets after the fact. And she knows that Anakin and Padme are friends. She knows that they're close, but you don't know how close she knows them to be until, oh my God, yeah, he had a kid that was that was mm-hmm. Padme. Had that was Padme. Like, mm-hmm. it's so interesting to think of what she's grappling with right now, which I Oof. hope we get more explored. It's just like so. It's so interesting because the attachment, and she has attachments to people. She had attachments yeah. to Anakin and to Padme. And so it's very and to Rex, obviously. And right, like right. it's just it's it's very, very interesting. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. It's it's yeah. I hope it's explored. That's just yeah. all I wanted to say. I yeah. want a whole I think it's really exciting. I want a whole two hour like fireside chat of them. Oh, I'd watch it. Right? Oh I right. need two it. hours. Just, I and I want care. Leia Sit to down. at least show up for a minute yeah. and then be like, yeah. screw you for talking nice about the guy that tortured me who was supposedly right. my right. sperm donor. Bye. But like... <laughs> Not wrong, Claire. But <laughs> but like I just want to know she's all so of over it now. She, she, all of yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. I, I uh, just really want. I she's just not want that over it. And after no, she's, she's not. totally yeah. over it. This many years down the road, she's totally over it. Trust me. No, we but get in bloodline, she's not really that over it. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. She's, she's a little no, scarred. Really not she's that scarred. Over it. I'm kidding. I'm scarred from it. Yeah. It's like it's like I want her to be like Ahsoka. I'm not going to, like, cool. I'm glad you were buddies with my dad, but right. I'm going to peace out right. for a bit. Yeah, I just mm-hmm. want that conversation of, like, Ahsoka knowing that in the end, Anakin did come back. Like, the yeah. first circle. Right. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I need to. I, I, I need to. Oh. I need that. I need yeah. her realizing that. And I need Luke yep. to realize how amazing his dad was, like, as a Jedi. Like, he, yeah. like, he was truly amazing. I yeah. think he needs to know that. So, like the closure those two give each other, I just that I just breaks it. me every time I I think about it. Right, yeah. and then I love that line of her telling him, just like your father again. Uh, but then oh I yeah, wanna, I oh, really yeah. want to back to like circle us back to Padme because you know she's awesome. He, and we have Luke to... is so much like Padme too, like in so many ways. Like I think Leia is really more the brash type. 
Like, yo, Anna she's Rosa. so much right. more like right. I agree, I agree with that, Lauren. Facts. Yeah. And then Facts Luke, right there. Luke is definitely more like Padme, more of the kind of controlled, try to do things more diplomatically, will act if needs to. So, like, they're they're both very much like each other's, you know, I mean, Leia's like Padme, too, and obviously mm-hmm. Luke's like Anakin. So, like, it's a good mix, but I need... Luke to know how much he is like his mother, though. Like, yeah. I need uh, but I think I yeah. think so though cool. I have to jump in on that and say that mm-hmm. I do think Padme is 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 is, is she, she's like Leia plus a gallon of hydrochloric acid. Oh, true. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, or or Leia is like Padme, and she's just like add mm-hmm. acid here, <laughs> and now I become. <laughs> I become the you're diplomat right, though. You're right. no, you're who right. is you're absolutely yourself. totally willing to take you out at the knees if that's what yeah. it takes. Well, which that, is I mean... the difference between Leia and Padme, <laughs> which again, yeah, I agree, makes her much more like Anakin, much yes. more like Vader yes. than like Padme. But it is kind of interesting because she is kind of the same kind of animal, just like yeah. super juiced and way less, I don't want to say less refined because she's not, but at the same time, she is. She's, she's quicker to she's, act. She's, she's ready quicker to, to act, and her hands acting on. isn't isn't always just to do the the nice thing. You know, Padme yeah. was always about I will go to the nth degree to do this the peaceful way. Whereas Leia's like, well, I'll meet you halfway, but if you're gonna be yeah. a dick, I'm I, for you. <laughs> I feel like she had more I mental I more mental you, fortitude than Leia. Luke. Like yeah. her her yeah. ability oh, to you. just be like un like Luke has always been very unsure. You know, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and Leia was like, nah, no, nah, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. You don't, but, don't, but don't, how don't much of that is yeah. Leia and how much of it is Carrie? Because I wonder how right, much right, that, yeah. you know, that's Carrie true. being that way really informed that character, I think, for so many people. And that's why she is, you know, the iconic character she is. But I do think, though, that that, you know, she is she's Padme like. She's like ultra Padme with like yeah. spikes or something. If you uh, if, if you if you read the comics, if you read the comics, <clears throat> Leia is so fucking strong in the comics. Amazing. There's only been like maybe like once or twice where they're in, and it was actually in uh, right before War of the Bounty Hunters, where uh, or or was during War of the Bounty Hunters, where she was unsure of things and like lost hope. Like you remember that, right, Dan? Yeah. That she she had, she had like lost hope for a minute and whatnot. With Not my with- Leia. <laughs> Yeah, fantastic. I'll tell you this: like, uh, if, if I can go back to if I can go back to when Lauren said about uh, like seeing Luke and Ahsoka for the first time, mm-hmm. I, it's one of those moments where I was really glad that I wasn't doing a reaction video because it would have been. Listen, I was like, oh, ah, 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 like that was that was me when, when Ahsoka showed up, and then I was like, wait, I'm, I was like, wait, Luke's on the planet too. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean? That's, that's what I was. Me and too, like, man. Me too, Chris. Me too, man. And that's the I reaction we didn't get, guys. And <laughs> that's the reaction we didn't get. That could have been the gold. Of yeah. I know. Chris, I was not expecting you. her to show up in that episode either, man. That was... Oh, yeah, no, not I, at all. Not at all. Yeah, she she shocked the crap out of me. I was yeah. not expecting She shocked there. the crap out of the Mando, too. He was about yeah. to shoot yeah. her. Yeah. <laughs> Again, just like Chris said, the slow realization <clears throat> that she was like, I'm like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Yeah. Like, wait, yeah. wait. Is this mm-hmm. going to happen? Is this going to happen? Like, it just blew my mind. Uh, and then and then there's that that moment where it happens and you realize this isn't the first time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then your brain oh, just starts that. cartwheeling through the air like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> the galaxy brain meme is <laughs> happening yeah. like. I was literally like when she when she walked up and I'm like it's like I, you know it's four in the morning it's four in the morning right, right. the and, neighbors are like what like, is going on I don't care about that shut up shut up it's Luke and Ahsoka yeah like, don't you understand <laughs> shit get on my level this is real life <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> The soak and Luke. Yeah. It's important. Yeah. Oh man. This was that was me when this moment happened right here. When he lifted his oh. hat, I, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, it's Kathy. Oh, I was crying. Why you such a good job. There is a like, reaction video did. you can reference of me just like silently 
crying. <laughs> and then they like, it's actually his face. From that mm. first shot, from so that first good. shot from a distance of the oh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 like yeah. Like yeah. yeah like yeah. that. Look at that. Right. There was people like she's not. And he looks you want to ridiculous? You want to ridiculous? Some of these complaints where people were like, "He's not the same color blue." Not blue enough, Shut up. Man. It's not blue enough. Yeah. Space blue. Do you Shut even up. like Star Wars anymore? No. no Sorry, I don't want to go there. Amazing. Okay. If you let him. Like being two shades lighter of blue, a skin color, which is not something that's realistic in the natural world. <laughs> that was a that would be a different story. But if he's two shades lighter of blue, and you have let that ruin your enjoyment of this character you love being back in the show, you have bigger problems than that, my friend. Thank I'm just there. saying. Uh, yes. Like, Amen. And drink. Where's your that? next meal coming from? And it's Worried not like it's blue. sunny on Tatooine, <laughs> where it might make things a little brighter. Yeah, he is I wearing a hat, and it's like the sun yeah. everywhere. Shit. Yeah. He's so, old. He's exactly. Old. We, you all get a little old. pastier as you get yeah. older. Especially, yeah. especially blue people. God, I don't. I'm not getting pasty at all. People. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't. You don't crack. It's called. Oh my god. You don't. You don't. You don't, don't crack, Raven. We good. We good. We good. Also, we good. Ben, good. I have been too lazy to put a TikTok on the Imperial Senate TikTok, so I'm just gonna say what it what what it would be. And it was literally just going to be me with the Cad Bane still from this episode. I was going to put it up two weeks ago, and it was just me lip syncing to Eiffel, Eiffel 55, 65. I don't remember what fucking number they were. Eiffel 55. I'm um, just being like, just being like, I I have a boyfriend, and he is so blue. That was just <laughs> me. <laughs> That's it. Oh, my God. It's my favorite. Claire, I need you to, to describe every thing you're going to do from now on. <laughs> Well, I'll describe it and before I, I, I post I, I, it. I, I, I right clicked it. I saved it. And then... Oh no, no. He was <laughs> really <laughs> creepy. He was really creepy. Yeah, his his teeth were creepy. extra yeah. sharp. Yeah, yeah. He was yeah. More, I and think not more brushed. I wonder if he has one of them Ferengi was. filers. You know, not brushed at all. Like which... no, he uses a, he goddamn uses a mini Star Gappy Trek. Stick. <laughs> he uses a mini gaffy stick. It hangs <laughs> off of his cell phone. Gold it's probably oh. much easier to floss. I say, how fitting or was it? Toothpaste. How that fitting was it though um, to see Boba take him out with the gaffy oh. stick after he Symbolism. literally just got done talking shit on the uh, on his love yeah. for the uh, Tuscans because yeah. he was like, "What?" He's like, I like "Cad I was like, like it's poetry." Stick. Oh, Chris. Oh, it rhymes, Chris. Oh, <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Should we turn it off? I think what a no. no, sometimes you gotta live through <laughs> that some things. Feeling is you know? sadness, Roke. The feeling yeah. is sadness. <laughs> but I mean, it was it was really awesome to see that like happen. Where he was like, you know, what happened to you, Bubba? What made you change into what you are now? And he's like, and he said the Tuscans with like like dirt in his mouth. Like it was like, Bleh. and I was like, man, he's got he better get him after that. And then like with the the gaffy stick thing was just. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I fucking hate that the awesome. pikes. Hate Night, the Bill. Pikes. Oh, really? Good night, Bill. Night, Bill. <clears throat> night, Bill. Night, Bill. Oh, don't Chris, put ketchup you... <laughs> on your hot dog, you damn lunatic. <laughs> ketchup Sorry. and mustard from with some relish. You don't no. like that. You don't what, like that. What are you supposed to put on a hot dog? You're supposed to put. Here we go. You're supposed to put <laughs> mustard, pickle spear, celery, salt, chopped onions, relish, She's tomato. From Chicago. You're supposed or you could to just the have the a salad. And sport peppers. <laughs> yes, but the thing, why don't you just jump in a in a in a in a, in a garden at that well, point? Well, in right? the north. No, like Chris, have you well, had in the dog? north beast, you can put ketchup on a hot dog. We've yeah. uh, we've we've gone from so bad bane to hot dog. It, <laughs> it has been voted. It has been voted the best regional hot dog in the United States. It is. I just want to point out again how many pet rocks were sold back in the seventies. So your voted doesn't mean anything to. I love a good but Chicago hot lasts. dog. But this last, this has been for, for long. Whoa, Kyle, time. cream cheese. No, dude, no, no. You put well, a honey mustard. Seattle dog. Is not a salad. Are you talking Seattle My dog? Is it salad? You put funny is it Seattle or Cleveland? Dog. One of these yeah, cities. Yeah. Seattle. Okay. okay. Chili yeah. and cheese. Okay. Chili and cheese whiz. Cheese steaks are great. <laughs> Italian beef is awesome. Ben, oh, this ain't a chili. This ain't, it's not a cheese steak. This is a hot dog with chili and cheese. 
Eagles. Those are all ridiculous conversations. Good. These but are all also, ridiculous Seattle conversations. Seattle dog is not nothing, better. We nothing are, is as good as cheese curds. We are going okay, way off right. track. Ravens are wrong. Ravens are wrong. Cheese curds are elite. You're not wrong. Yes, I love me a little. Enjoy your rancor jeans. Ketchup. Chicago, you're right. Chicago's not ketchup, too good Mike. for ketchup, but some things are good. Your hot dog. My God. You put ketchup on your hot dog. I trust Lots Chicago for it. pizza, but they can keep you their don't. hot dogs. In. You do. You like you ketchup do. for other you things. I'm going to show you. Hi, everybody. Welcome I'll to hear. the hot dog hour. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> sorry. Is a I'm hot sorry dog is a hot dog a sandwich? It is. <laughs> Leave us a comment. It's, 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 <laughs> like to the like it's a bread. I refuse it's to take a side. It's a sandwich <laughs> because it's a protein between two pieces of bread. Yeah, it's not two pieces of bread. It's a connected. You, it's a bun. It's, it's, it's a between it. You, it's a roll. Is it in the middle? It is, it is a roll. Is it an open-faced sandwich? Chris. At that yes. point, it's an open-faced sandwich. Get it. All right, all right. He's right. He's right. He's right. I love how we so, spent almost an hour talking only about Book of Boba Fett. No, uh, that's so all right. Insulted. We're gonna, you know what? We're gonna give people a week to to watch Peacemaker, to watch that finale, and we're coming back next week, and we're gonna finish this day. It was good with Book of Boba Fett, but we're coming back next week, Peacemaker. Next it was week, good, week. but we're not oh, we're not good. done yet. Yeah, we're we can't do that yet. shit in nine minutes. There's too much. No, that's right. Do that no. Too much to unpack. No way. way too much to unpack. But <clears throat> for, uh, there is James definitely Gunn, more to unpack of the finale. And uh, the rancor came back into play. My favorite Ooh. part. Oh. And those uh, that scrapped um, that scrapped art from the, the trade federation. Uh, yes, the trade mm -hmm. federation. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh my yeah. god, awesome. I was. I was like, look at this Terminator 2 shit right here. This is freaking great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I like seeing a Wookiee go hardcore. Now. Oh, um, of course. So because good. so rare that we, we've we actually in live action seen a Wookiee go, you know, hardcore. So it was kind of cool to see a Wookiee go. When he go... threw that guy and then shot him, I was yeah. like, wow. That, I mean, we did get this. We got this. <laughs> motherfucker. We have to see that A exactly. 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 Like he was paper. Oh my god. He said he was running like Ricky and Boys in the Hood. I think we, <laughs> <laughs> we definitely Yo, knew. Let's came and said that, Chris. I was done. He got shot and earned his limp. He earned his pimp walk. He dropped his pimp walk down. He, and he, and he dropped his hammer down. It was like, <laughs> Keep a good junior with half a haircut. Oh shit! Oh my <laughs> god! Oh, that movie. Is that wow. movie is awesome. Yeah. In it. I, I literally just watched that about a month ago. Such a Keep good. Keep junior has half a haircut in that movie. His dad <laughs> starts on one side, and it was just like yeah, doesn't well, finish. Go be a movie. Book yeah. of Boba, hot dogs, boys in the hood. That's right. The boys in the hood. Right. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, who else was scared though when Black Chrysanthemum was running back to the to the tank oh, to get I, cover? I was like, no! I was very, I was very Don't unafraid. Don't you do it? Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, well, you better Dan, not kill Chrysanthemum. I think like I think you and I were both doing that at the same time in that reaction thing. Oh, I, I, was like, I was like, I was like, no, no, no. no. Well, Black Chrysanthemum no, no, no. lots <laughs> off blaster fire by like their flies. I have no problem. What was it like episode four or something with that AEW moment between him and the and the mod bike gang and everything when he grabbed Boba out of his back to tech? I mean, everybody stabbed yeah. him with something and he was still just like, what? He choke right. slammed like several people. Get, get off of me. me. Get off of yeah, me. Yeah, he's, he he lands Archer at like 12 people. What am I in Florida? Let me, let me tell you about the, the moment, the, the shot in that fight scene when he grabbed him out of the back to tank that was uh, the most uh, uh, memorable to me oh. was Boba's toes. <laughs> Toba Fett? Them Jones were cracking. <laughs> like he was, he was like cracking his back. His toes were like, yeah! like his toes were. <laughs> that was good not much. going in the right direction. I... Like, none of them were going in the right direction. I think like, we, know, I will... the group. we know who in the group has a foot fetish. Yes, you see, you know what? It's a foot I of will repeat Fett. what I Toba said Fett. before. <laughs> Toba Fett. And and. <laughs> I'm a monkey. Go ahead, Claire. I'm sorry. And, and because Disney Star Wars does not do any really, really solid gay representation, 
that will be the closest thing we get to gay representation in Star Wars in recent memory, other than the kiss at the very end for half a second in Rise of Skywalker. It's Mm. Boba Fett lubed up fighting a bear. (laughs) Rainbow kids. And and that is that is the closest we'll get because Disney step your shit up. Oh, right. yeah. Oh, the, the greatest spin, spin move. Come on, no, no. Oh, my God. Let's he, get back he, to my he, guy's he spin move. He, he was bear. like Maxwell spin. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> just on it. I was when like, that was like cool. the playing in his headset. And he was like, <laughs> never too much. And he just, he but, but, just like, but, but there was a blaster. There was a blaster bolt. He didn't evade a blaster bolt. So, yeah. That didn't happen. The mods have clippers and hairliners. They could do a spin move. The way I look at it was like, it's important. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead, Dan. No, no, no. There you go. You go. You sure? Yeah. Somebody. You sure. Yeah, yeah. Go catch him. Good. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Somebody go. Um, I just want to say I think it's important that we shout out uh, the woman power action going on in this episode. When you're going to yeah. send two people up to be sniping, mm. it's going to be the ladies. If you're going to be, you know, telling people how it is, I grew up, you know, three feet from here, and I'm telling you we can't go any further, or it's going to suck. You know, you ask the ladies and. When it all comes down to it, when you need somebody to sneak in and be there and handle business and then not be there again, you call Fennec Shand. Yeah. That, it's quite, it's quite and and uh, let me just say, let, I just want to say. Watching my girl just come in and rip oh, everybody oh, wide man. open and sneak out the door like I was even here. Yes. This is what I have to say about that. They got their asses shanded to them. <laughs> yes! Oh! Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, oh, yes! Oh, I allow that. Come on. Oh, oh, that. Come on. That was good. That was good, Chris. Good, Chris. Like What's the matter, that? Chris? Like Can't chandel it? Chris, do you hate all kinds <laughs> of this? Oh, no. Wait. I mean, now you got three Chris is getting out of shand. Who said that? Who said that? Oh my god. Who said Chris is getting out of Shan? Who said that? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Who did? I don't know. I didn't hear it. I didn't say it. I didn't hear it. Was that was that was that you, Raven? Chris, you better get a shandle on this. <laughs> How's it going, ladies? I just us. So I just want to talk about real quick Boba Fett saying Santo. That's like my new favorite thing of all. Oh yeah. Oh, it was like, the way Santo, that he says Santo. Santo. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's my favorite thing. It's my favorite. Oh, I do. I love. Everyone was calling him Santy, like he was Santa Claus, and um, I I definitely like Santo better. Like it's definitely way cooler for me. I think Uh, Afra Afra says Santy right in the comics a lot. Is that where? Yes, I think it's. I think it's pretty sure that Afra called it. Black K, one of the two. Yeah, Black K is another one. Okay. But, but they kept Santa. the black out of it, like the whole series. Mm-hmm. Like no one called him just Chris Yeah, just yeah. yeah like it's all right. <laughs> we <laughs> understand. We know who's yeah. under <laughs> there. He's <laughs> who's under there. I was it's like, under. Can, yeah, I mean, yeah, he's definitely. literally black. Like he's literally <laughs> black. <That's right there. laughs> Have you checked the fur lately? Like my goodness, it's right there. They want to impress people by saying chrysanthemum. They don't care. They don't care about black. That's a word everybody knows how to say. They want to show that they can pronounce the difficult word. Yeah. So they're they just leaving the simple word off. Well, we know they don't. We know they don't care about black. We saw how they did Finn. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Chris. Yeah. Chris. 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 Yeah. <laughs> He's, yeah. he's having a moment. I he's having a moment. No, he's right. had a long chat about this crossfire. one. We certainly have. <laughs> yes, I, I agree. I got feelings. I got feelings and thoughts. Remember for y'all lie? I'm, I'm gonna stop. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> right. <laughs> they lied. They lied. I saw. I saw the lies. <laughs> <laughs> How do we boot Ben from the live chat? <laughs> Put him in timeout. Put him in timeout. We can do that. We just figured it out. No, don't put him in timeout. Don't Don't put Ben in timeout. Too late. He's on timeout. Oh, Oh, my God. How did you do that? That was okay. That was incredible. Oh, my God. I can't even. How do I bring him back? I don't even know. I don't know. Sorry, Ben. I don't think you can. Not for five minutes. Ben. Ben, that was that was all. Chris is better texting. That was all me. I'm going to bring him back. The democracy did not vote for that. The dictator did. The dictator did that. He's going shed and shed over here. Oh, my God. I liked your pun, Ben. Did you say my 
What happened now? You say something? I was laughing. I didn't, I didn't say anything. I could have yeah. sworn you said something, bro. What did, what did you mean? What did, what did, what did you right, hear? All right, all right, all right. What did Fear you hear? is the mind killer, Roke. Yeah. Fear, Fear is, is the, the little killer. death that brings total Oscar obliteration. Oscar nominated best picture. They go Shannon and Shannon, so it, that was Fear. <laughs> mind killer. <laughs> A little shand over foot, you know? <laughs> yeah, Dan. Yeah, Dan. Give it to him, buddy. I don't know how to bring him back. <laughs> he's, got, he he's got five minutes. Like five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Back. All right. It's all right, Ben. We love you. I love you. Ben, I love you, too. Ben, ben we smile. love you very much. We love you, you know. very it's much. All, it's all part of the bit. Don't worry. I love your work. Yep. yep. For the bit. <laughs> the Alex. candy man, Shan. <laughs> wait, wait, look at this one. Alex. Chris, right now. What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is Shan. It is. Don't get added to the list. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you guys. Oh, thank you. You don't want to get making me laugh so bars. much. Oh, yes. What oh, a lovely, come, on, lovely come, come back. Oh, you. <laughs> Oh man, but who else? Who else? All right, all right. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, is that the right chance? Alex is done. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me. Mm-hmm. The oh my god. You don't oh want to go ahead and first over your shadow box. Oh my god, the shadow box is like black <laughs> hair recorded. Okay, so somebody put it on gotta, a t shirt. Yeah. I feel terrible. This is no, definitely wanna... needs to be a shirt. You don't yes, want to go head over your shirt in bars, the worst so. way. If someone makes a shirt before us, uh, just make sure <laughs> you can get us. Do you understand? <laughs> oh, man. I'll be here forever. Oh, I love that. To the shades of time. I appreciate all of y'all because right now my cheeks are so yeah, bright. This is great. Right? Like great. Shandy in the hourglass. It's what a great comeback. A good comeback episode. This is uh I'm so happy that this is happening. And um Chris is just so disappointed in all of us. Um as usual. What's new? Yes, but he's, 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 yeah, yes. I have to say he's chandling it well. It's good. He he's is his right. favorite his favorite techno song is Shandstorm. <laughs> Shandstorm. <laughs> wow. Oy, oy, oy. Uh, oh Dukes. <laughs> oh there we go. Like Shan to the hour. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Look at Dukes. He came in. He came in yeah. and he was just like, oh, hey, it, uh, funny to see you here. <laughs> he came in right for the end of the podcast. <laughs> no. So, no. We, have to, we, have to, we have to stick on until Ben is back. Like, yes. Yeah, well, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to say, let's go around. I let's do. go around the room. And um, uh, like Oops. we've done before. Okay. Uh, well. What was, uh, as part of the season finale, what was your uh, favorite moment? Oh my god. Oh my god. Shand, it gets everywhere. It does. <laughs> it does to both yes. worlds. You, Amazing. Yes, it does. That needs to be on a shirt. That needs to be on a shirt. Yes, it does. Of course, it gets everywhere. I mean, it's I really true. Shand she is everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. She is. <laughs> All right. So we're going to start with uh, Claire and favorite. Um, your favorite moment, uh, penultimate or the um, finale. <laughs> Who's one of your favorite moments? We might as well do this now since we can't do the show. We know there's a million. One of them. There's about a million um, from either episode. Wow, that's really hard. Um, I think that my favorite moment Scott. has to be Din noticing that Grogu's in the buggy and he goes into sweet boy dad mode and is like, <gasps> and the hug. You you got the shirt. That's it. That's that's definitely up there for sure. I'm sure everybody will have other moments that I'll echo, but but I'll 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 pick that one because I wanted more moments of Din being like a sad dad missing his kid who's gone away to college, um, in season three of Mando, and I won't get that. But that was the close. Dooku, don't knock things over. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> You will not. He was like, "Let me tell you my moment. (laughs) (laughs) My moment is the fact that this is on the counter still." Okay, (laughs) come on now. Anyway, that's what I got. (laughs) Awesome, Raven. What about you? Penultimate Um, season finale, whatever. Um, 
Hard to say, but I think for me, the main thing is, is just kind of an overall feel of Boba Fett, particularly, you know, Tem's influence on the character. Mm. Um, I just think, you know, he's such an elemental man and he brings that to the character and it's in everything that he does and every way that he plays the character. He's, you know, he's, he's such a warrior and he's a warrior in the most honorable and best way there can be playing, you know, obviously a bounty hunter, but (laughs) I digress. Um, But just really that portrayal that is so different from Din. One is more religious, even though it's kind of the same on both sides, but it's very different in the way that they approach it. So, um, that was for me. That was the thing is really bringing Tem into the role, and the way that they did it, it fits the role. And as somebody who is, you know, completely infatuated with Boba Fett back when the Empire Strikes Back came out, to see him turned into a character that I can really be interested in, mm-hmm. and that I can respect on so many different levels, uh, played by a char- uh, an actor who I can respect on so many different levels is amazing to me. And I I think that overall, that's what I've pulled from it. I mean, there's been great moments and great things, but overall, I just, I love that bringing to the forefront, you know, this elemental man seeing it in that way. Cause I think it's just a very different representation than we normally get. Right. I agree. I mean, like a Boba Fett is proof that, you know, we all can change, you know, no matter, you know, uh, that there can be a significant moment in our lives that give us a different perspective and can, Help us change to be someone better, someone different, a better version of ourselves. And Mm -hmm. that's character growth, people. That is awesome stuff right there. That is good writing. It's not just flying around in your jetpack and shooting shit and talking like a badass. There's a lot more to that. Right. You can run, but you're only going to die tired. (laughs) Right. Michael. Michael. Uh, Yeah. I liked uh, all the space cowboy shit. Um, Let's go, cowboy shit. Uh, the standoffs, like it really took. Like I'm a big, I'm a big Western guy, so like seeing him walking through the, like you know the the mirage of the of the desert, and then like the standoff and how that was shot. I was like, we could make space westerns now, guys. Like they're showing you that this could this could be a thing. Yeah, we need to get Timothy Oliphant as as uh, Revolver Ocelot for the Better Get Solid movie. Yeah, that justified. It would be my dad's favorite thing ever because he was obsessed in the with with him in Mando with Timothy Oliphant and Mando and in Cap Vamp. Like, make Star Wars with my dad so we can bond more over it. It just make. I I want them more like robot horses, all that shit. I want space cowboy. Oh my god. Dude, the, you said robot horses. That it totally reminded me of East of West. Uh, the comic yes, East of West. they yeah. it, they actually did the robot horses in the, uh, mm-hmm. and I think you you did the preview for it, Dan. It's a quick shot from a couple of years back. It was uh the age of the age of rebellion. Boba Fett, no. remember? Oh, I gotta get back on that. Man. Yeah. I don't remember my. Yeah, it, it was it was a one much. shot. It was a one shot. But yeah, he uh he had some bounty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And on, he was on a. I See, I don't remember that either, just... but how cool were those Age of Comics? Just like random. Yeah. Amazing. 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 I got that Ventress one. Uh, oh, that's good stuff. I love, good stuff. So I love good. the Qui-Gon one. Oh, you, uh, sh- it was look trippy ben, as you all sneaky it. bastard. Ah, there we go. Ah, <laughs> look at this. Look, 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 look at him go. Oh, this boy, with the alt account. I love it. Rock star. Rock star. You can kill the body, but the spirit lives. Christopher, what was your um, one of your favorite moments? Let me tell you what my least favorite moment was. I know, I know. I'm just I'm, discussing it with us. We don't. We don't <laughs> it's not good to relive trauma. No, um, we have to come to grips with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, like chance <clears throat> through the hourglass. I, uh, I'm trying to think what what would my favorite be. Um, I loved all of his development with the uh, with the Tuscan Raiders. I thought that was I thought that was amazing. That's that maybe my, my favorite aspect of the show, outside of seeing Ahsoka and Luke in the same scene together. Uh, probably, yeah, Boba's Boba's uh, Boba's growth when he when he was living with the Tuscans for however many years it was. That was probably my favorite. Moment. It was so good. You know, I was a little dis like I, I just a little disappointed that we didn't get to see like we never 
we did someone said we did see the warrior uh princess's um uh, gaffy stick when he was when he had the fire going and everything um but we never saw her body and yeah. i was just like maybe she would come back and she didn't and i was just like girl. damn it maybe I, that's right because they did maybe say a season finale not a series finale yeah so uh, i know i, I know michael but it's just, it, i try to have renewed. hope I'm gonna have i think hope. enough people watched it that they'll, mm -hmm. they'll do another mm -hmm. yeah i think this needs to be one season lauren our special guest you know what was yours oh man there's so many good moments in the finale <clears throat> alone. I mean, Boba Fett on a Rancor. I mean, oh, <laughs> didn't know cool. I needed it. They didn't name the it. Rancor. <laughs> they didn't Thank you, Chris. name the Thank Rancor. You. That's true. It wasn't That's quite true, the meth uh, His but... name was Machete. Right. He had... but... <laughs> machete. <laughs> machete the Rancor. There, we've named it. But there, I mean, that is probably one of the greatest moments in the finale. Uh, but, like, season overall, I mean... It... Chris touched on it like Ahsoka and Luke that will mean so much to me because that is like so many years in the making in my head of like wanting that to happen mm -hmm. and then for it to happen and for it to be like just you know that they've been talking well before this that just blows my mind I'm just like I, I need like I said I need that two hour fireside chat like, yes I, I yeah 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 no action or nothing make me right. like a two Just camera talk. setup you know what i mean with three cameras get, get a be, shot get two get two uh, uh close-ups boom it'd be Just cool like I'd to see over and over it'd right. be cool right. to see a little action in like some flashbacks you know like them talking mm -hmm. and then having flashbacks mm -hmm. of shit happening that would be some dope moments for I me mean, i would love we that, get that in the Ahsoka series. yeah no, you know really, really, exactly. yeah. that'd I would, be so awesome me and my cousin were just talking about that today in our episode that comes out later shameless plug i hope so mm -hmm. and uh we were go about that. subscribe listen <laughs> yes to both of her go podcasts subscribe, listen oh you'll yeah. have a chance to plug yes, all scott. I, oh, I know yes I know. scott um but yeah that that whole series is going to be i think just there's so wow. many avenues and we were talking about that today like like you really don't know where that's going like it could go this way it could go that way because there's so many threads they can pull like it's just that show is gonna be bonkers and i can't yeah. wait for it like, i mean maybe sobbing every episode like that's, yes. the, that's yes. the greatest part about what's happening right now and that's i feel like that's the one thing a lot of people are missing from the book of boba fett and the mandalorian how these two mm -hmm. stories are <gasps> part of one story you know hold on, they hold are on, hold on, all hold on, hold on real quick dan <clears throat> why's, why's it gotta be a blacklist ben that's what it's called i mean but yeah i just remembered shut I up no ben, that's what I said. It's, ben it's a blacklist it's a blacklist and oh, that's yeah, fine yes it is um so right. for me for me for me it was um i i loved the fact that they put uh black or Santin in the Trandoshan district, I was just like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> just in case shit goes <laughs> down, he will be like, all them, all them super surprised looking motherfuckers. He had, they just dude, went around I mean, looking surprised all the, the only, time. He, he was looking at all of them like they're all up to no good. I know what's good. I told you, none of them, none of them are up to any good here. They are all enemies. And uh, he, he must have been so freaking confused. He must have been so confused because he was just like, oh, was that one? Was that one? Was that one? Uh, you saw he was giving the side eye to all of them. Oh, yeah. And it was just like, and then when they all ganged up on him, he was just like, this can't happen. Like, <laughs> I was like, no. Yo, no. Dan, Dan like, listen, I, I I thought of you the moment they they, they uh, got that little shot on him. He's just like, look at these motherfuckers. Happening. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's just like when he was in he the campaign. He just hating. He just hating. He's like, it was, just, it was just like when he was in uh, uh, Madame Garza's... Uh, Sanctuary. I'm sorry. It, yeah, in her <clears throat> establishment. And um, I mean, that uh, overall, when it her comes to like my overall season <laughs> favorite, it was definitely um, it was definitely that moment in the in the uh, <laughs> what would you call Lauren? Your place of business. Uh, sanctuary. They're oh, sanctu in this in this in the House sanctuary of repute. Yeah. Uh, that was the, my favorite moment was just him going off uh, in a drunken rage. Um, oh, I know you, you think it. he was yeah. drunk. It was a oh or he was he just drinking. Was, that was a big that was a big <laughs> stein that was a big stein full of Java juice uh, or or spotchka <laughs> uh. and he was going it, it was just like he was like I don't his Java mouth juice, he was just like I need another one before I go off and then he was just I like tell you guys. 
and we got to see the Wookiee, a Wookiee rip off an arm. I know we got to see Chewbacca do it uh, in the uh, cut scenes of The Force Awakens. Mm -hmm. um, we saw it in Solo, too. Right. In Solo. Well, yeah. in Solo. Yeah, it was just kind of. It's just I really awesome to see to Wookiees God. ripping limbs off. And then, I mean, Let like, him have I, it. he'll grow it back. Like, he'll get it back. He's a lizard. Yeah, Whatever. Yeah, it comes that's back. what I'm saying. It's awesome it's a, to see a, a Wookiee really go hard at people yeah, as opposed right. to just cross you know, Boeing and whatnot. Or and I mean, like, cross Boeing. They could, you know they what like, I meant? Bow casting. Shut up. I've had a lot these, of brandy. The glass is empty. These guys, <laughs> these guys take like shots of blasters. They get stabbed a bunch of times and they, they still go. I mean, they live forever. Mm -hmm. I mean, a human is like a dog to them. Like, they, it's just like, oh, this is Han Solo is like, what? Uh, Chewbacca's like fifth dog, you know? And, <gasps> So, I mean, it's just like, <laughs> I love Wookiees. One. Wookiees are great. <laughs> and it, it's just like amazing because <laughs> it was just so good. Wookiees and great, I but raised so, by them. Great people. So you're saying like Wookiees are great though, but you know, you totally. Dan uh, hates Trandoshans. Dan hates Trandoshans. He hates them. Dan he really hates Trandoshans. Like oh, hell yeah. Dan hates Trandoshans. I was actually thinking. Uh, I was okay, actually right. thinking of the new Disney Plus series that no one's heard of. But yes, very it's real. Very real. Be new trailer at D twenty three this year, baby. Yes, new trailer yeah. Yeah. or celebration. Very or celebration. real. Celebration. We might get a little a celebration. Yeah, sorry, we don't know. But Maybe I yes. Will be a celebration. Overall, just having uh, Black Chrysanthemum being brought into the big screen was, I mean, like all comic book fans were just like, fuck yes. Hell freaking yeah, yeah everybody. Yeah, and that's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good job, Ben. We're all winners here today. Yeah, that's right. Everybody's a winner today. Uh, everybody's winner, winner is you. So Fuck you, we're gonna sir. we are going to no we're gonna end the show with uh everybody let's let everyone know where you guys can be found uh what you're working on or whatever um Aaron, since you are a special guest please start off oh well thank you for having me on. this was this was so much fun <laughs> this is good, so we good have... way to cap cap the Sunday night kids so. right uh but you guys can follow me on Twitter, Low Row Knows, and then my podcasts are the Galactic Podcast and the Geek Broadcast. Those are both on Twitter as well, uh, at Galactic Pod and Geek Broads Pod on Twitter. And then we're on all the major platforms, Apple Pod, Google Play, Spotify. You'll find us. And uh, yeah, go enjoy what we talk about. Awesome. Laura, it was great having you on here. I mean, thank you Thanks. for coming Please on. Please come back for the comeback episode definitely everyone's a returning guest everybody you came back for the comeback but come back another time <laughs> hey right. everybody let's come give lauren it. a big shan yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! that's a shirt that's a shirt <laughs> claire Reach you want to you promote any imperial pot uh, instead of podcast stuff sure 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 <clears throat> um I am a member of the Imperial Senate Podcast, who you can find on Twitter at Imp Senate Pod, or on Instagram at Imperial Senate Pod, or on Twitter or on TikTok at I think it's at the Imperial Senate Pod. I don't know, or Imperial Senate Podcast. I don't know. I don't know where you can find me, but apparently <laughs> you can find me there. Um, look sure. for us. We are we were viral for like a bantha, so you probably I don't know. And then you can follow me on Instagram at cstribs. That's probably the best place to get podcast updates from. Uh, don't friend me on Facebook because I won't accept it because <laughs> it's only I don't post Star Wars stuff there because that's <laughs> like, hey, at least she's honest because, because my family will make fun of me publicly on the internet. Um, but you can follow me on <laughs> Instagram at TikTok at cstribs. Uh, uh, Raven. <laughs> Well, um, you can find me on Sisters with Sabres uh, podcast. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you're incredibly hard up for like a picture every six weeks, you can certainly follow me on Instagram uh, at Dever Even Spencer. And uh, I think I have no idea what my Instagram handle is. And I don't have Twitter anymore because I'm not fucking crazy. We're free. 
Woo! Freedom! What's the insert Mel Gibson <clears throat> gif here? Freedom! <laughs> That's right, baby. Freedom! That's right, baby. Uh, so, yeah. Michael? <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You can find me at uh, <laughs> twist.tv forward slash proaxium gaming every Tuesday around 6 p.m. to whenever I don't play video games. I'm going to be or, jumping in or on that. You can, I know I say it, but I'm going to try. You try. You could just not do anything. Don't follow him. <laughs> Please actually subscribe to that don't. or follow or whatever the fuck it is on Twitch. Don't I don't know. Do anything. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Just, I mean, tell him, Mike. That'd be pretty cool if you came by to twitch.tv forward slash Veraxium Gaming. That's right. Christopher? Uh, you can, you know, don't don't come look for me. I'm going to take one of Rogue's. Uh, yeah, don't come find <laughs> When it works, it works. It yeah. does. Uh, I'm on Twitter, you know, sparsely anymore. You know, thanks. Um, Instagram, <laughs> you can find me under Chris Ryan's. Facebook, Chris Ryan's. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And we will be back with our quick shot this Wednesday. Uh, ben, who I just recently uh, uh, banned from our chat, uh, will be doing uh, the final issue of Daniel uh, Jose Older's The High Republic Adventures, number, I think it's 13. Can't wait. Oh, my God. Midnight Horizon. Love it. It's going to be a quick shot. You guys have got to check out Midnight Horizon. It is a great book. Um, so, yes. You can find me at Stay on Target 42 everywhere. I mean, not with the at, but just like that. Stay on Target 42 is is all of my handles for Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram. <laughs> and all stuff. Um, fantastic. Yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> and uh, you can also find me doing quick shots and not getting blocked like Ben. Um, and you could also uh, find me here every Sunday night live at 9 p.m. on Shooting the Poodoo. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thank you, Lauren, again, for coming on. It was amazing. We had a great night. I hope you all had fun. This is what we're here for, to make you laugh, to make you enjoy the things that we all love together, Star Wars and DC, Marvel, all of the nerd stuff. Please join us next week, 9 p.m., shooting a poodoo right here. Good night, everybody. Thank you very much. This party's over. 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 It's not over yet. Fire coming in, point three. This is it. This is it. Look at the size of that thing.